There is an eternal truth that even the harshest winter cannot obscure, the promise of spring's renewal. This fundamental cycle, woven into the very fabric of our existence, is a testament to the unwavering resilience of the human spirit. As Nichiren Daishonin, the revered 13th century Buddhist teacher, once wrote, if the sun and the moon were not in the heavens, how could plants grow? Indeed, the rhythmic dance of light and darkness, of death and rebirth, is the very foundation upon which all life flourishes. And just as the seasons unfailingly transition, so too can the trials and tribulations of our lives transform into moments of profound growth and enlightenment. Consider the plight of Nichiren's own devoted follower, whose husband had to leave behind a beloved daughter, a ailing son, and a frail wife, burdened by the weight of their circumstances. In this seemingly bleak scenario, Nichiren offers words of solace and unwavering faith, reminding us that, those who believe in the Lotus Sutra are as if in winter, which never fails to turn into spring. The Lord Buddha himself, in his final moments, lamented the fate of the wicked king Ajatashatru, who had slain his own father and turned against the teachings of the Dharma. Despite the gravity of this transgression, the Buddha's compassion remained steadfast, for he recognized that all people are his children, and that even the most wayward among us can be redeemed. It is this same unyielding belief in the transformative power of the Lotus Sutra that sustained Nichiren's follower, even as he faced the confiscation of his family's meager fief due to his unwavering faith. Nichiren reassures this devoted disciple that, like the great saints Sesen Doji and Bodhisattva Yakuo, her husband's sacrifice will be rewarded, for he will certainly receive blessing as great as theirs. Indeed, the Lotus Sutra's profound promise echoes through the ages. Among those who hear of this law, there is not one who shall not attain Buddhahood. No matter the tribulations, no matter the suffering, the path to enlightenment remains steadfast, like the eternal cycle of the seasons, winter always turns to spring. In the face of his own exile and persecution, Nichiren found solace in the knowledge that the Lotus Sutra's teachings would endure, and that even the mighty Mongol Empire's attack on Japan could not deter its inevitable spread. And so, too, can we take heart in the unwavering certainty that the darkest of nights will always yield to the dawn. For the Lotus Sutra is no mere philosophical treatise, but a living, breathing testament to the indomitable human spirit. Its message of universal enlightenment transcends the boundaries of time and space, offering hope and inspiration to all who choose to walk its transformative path. As Nichiren so poignantly reminds us, never have I seen or heard of winter turning into autumn. Nor have I ever heard of any believer in the Lotus Sutra who remained a common mortal. In the face of adversity, the Lotus Sutra offers the promise of eternal renewal, a springtime that blossoms eternal, regardless of the season. So let us take solace in the teachings of Nichiren and the Lotus Sutra, for their wisdom speaks to the very core of the human experience. Even in our darkest moments, we can find solace in the knowledge that the wheel of Dharma turns ceaselessly, guiding us ever onward towards the radiant dawn of enlightenment. The Enduring Light of the Lotus Sutra In the depths of her sorrow, Nichiren's devoted follower must have found solace in the unwavering promise of the Lotus Sutra. As her husband's life was cut short, leaving behind their children and her own frail constitution, the words of the great teacher must have echoed as a beacon in the darkness. Since the Buddha's mercy is impartial, your regret in dying should stem from compassion for all mankind, Nichiren reminds her, drawing upon the example of the Buddha himself. Just as the Lord lamented the fate of the wicked king Ajatashatru, so too must this grieving widow find the strength to look beyond her personal anguish and see the inherent Buddha nature in all beings. For the Lotus Sutra is not merely a text to be studied, but a living, breathing testament to the boundless compassion that lies at the heart of all existence. Nichiren himself experienced the transformative power of this sutra, even as he faced exile and persecution for his unwavering commitment to its teachings. If I can but save King Ajatashatru, all other wicked people can also be saved, the Buddha declared, his words resonating with a timeless wisdom. It is this same spirit of all-encompassing love and mercy that Nichiren seeks to impart to his follower, even as she grapples with the loss of her beloved husband. 
Indeed, Nichiren reminds her that her husband's sacrifice, like that of the great saints Sesen Doji and Bodhisattva Yakuo, will be rewarded with the greatest of blessings. He may be watching his wife and children in the mirrors of the sun and the moon every moment of the day and night, Nichiren writes, painting a vivid picture of the eternal connection that transcends the boundaries of life and death. And in a testament to the depths of his own gratitude, Nichiren promises that should he ever gain influence in this lifetime, he will watch over your children whether you are living then or not. This profound commitment to the welfare of his follower and her family speaks to the unwavering bond that the Lotus Sutra forges between all who embrace its teachings. For the Lotus Sutra is not merely a text, but a living, breathing embodiment of the cyclical nature of existence itself. Just as the seasons transition seamlessly, so too does the Dharma flow ever onward, guiding us through the ebb and flow of life's journey. Never have I seen or heard of winter turning into autumn, Nichiren declares, imbuing his words with a sense of absolute certainty. Indeed, the Lotus Sutra's promise of universal enlightenment stands as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Among those who hear of this law, there is not one who shall not attain Buddhahood, the Sutra declares, offering a glimmer of hope to all who traverse the path of spiritual awakening. And so, even in the depths of her grief, Nichiren's follower must have found solace in the knowledge that her husband's sacrifices were not in vain. For the Lotus Sutra's teachings, like the eternal cycle of the seasons, would endure long after the trials of this lifetime had passed. In the end, it is this unwavering faith in the transformative power of the Dharma that sustains us through even the darkest of times. For like the sun and the moon that guide the growth of all living things,